In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Smarty Streets jQuery plugin to verify addresses in your HTML forms. This is the same plugin used by Zillow, DHL, Dollar Shave Club, and many others. First, let's see how it works. Here's a basic HTML form for an address. Notice that when I start to type the street address, it prompts me with suggestions. When I select one, it fills out the street, city, and state fields. Note that these suggested addresses do not include zip codes, and they're not yet verified. The autocomplete just provides a convenient way to enter the address. If you don't want autocomplete, it's really easy to turn it off. Okay, once I fill out a complete address, I can submit the form. It will verify the address before submitting. I can also click this verify button to verify without submitting. I'll do that first. It looks like the address was not verified. I can either click here to change the address I entered, or click here to certify it myself. If I certify it myself, then it will let me submit the form without verifying it again. Otherwise, it will verify it again when I submit. And that's how Smarty Streets works in its most basic form. Let's see how to get it and implement it. Here we are at SmartyStreets.com. To register, click Sign Up in the upper right, then just enter first name, email address, and password and click the Create Account button. They give you some free lookups to get started. We need to generate our own key, so I'll click on API Keys in the menu. And as we'll be using Smarty Streets in a web form, I need to generate a new website key. So I enter the domain or IP that I'll be using Smarty Streets on and click Generate. Then I just copy my new key to use in my code. Note that this key will only work with my domain or IP. Okay, now that we have our key, we can create our form. I'm starting with a simple HTML form. Some things to notice. I've included jQuery, which Smarty Streets requires. And in my form, I have four fields with IDs, street address, city, state, and zip. You can give your fields any IDs you want, but if Smarty Streets isn't able to auto map them, you'll have to reference them in your JavaScript. So let's get the JavaScript code for the plugin. You can grab the code right from the plugin page on the Smarty Streets website. Just copy and paste the two script tags onto your page. Then paste your key over your HTML key here and save. And that's all you need to do. Let's see it in the browser. This looks just like the form I showed you in the beginning. As we start to enter an address, it provides suggestions. But this time, watch what happens when I click a suggestion. The form populates as before, but it also immediately verifies. The autocomplete is very fast, but it doesn't only return verified addresses. So you may want to turn off autocomplete. To do that, instead of passing live address your key as a string, you pass in an object and set the key property to your key. Then set autocomplete to zero. Now when I start to enter the address, no suggestions come up but I like getting suggestions. I'll set the number of suggestions to 5 by setting autocomplete to 5. But I don't want it to verify when I select autocomplete, so I'll set auto verify to false. Now let's take another look at the form. Now when I enter text, I get 5 suggestions, and when I select one, it fills in the form values, but doesn't verify automatically. Very cool. One more thing I want to show you. Did you notice I didn't have to map the form field IDs in my JavaScript? It was able to figure out which fields were which because I used common names for the IDs. However, you can map the IDs explicitly by setting the addresses property to an array of address objects. In my case, I just have one address, but you might have a form with multiple addresses, for example, a shipping address and a billing address. There are a lot of other configuration settings which are documented very well at the URL shown here. Smarty Street's a very cool tool and super easy to use. I hope you found this helpful. Now you should go and try it yourself. Enjoy.